In the last few videos, we implemented the Q-Learning algorithm on a few basic gym environments. As the environments get more complex, we need to apply more sophisticated reinforcement learning algorithms in order to solve them. Today, we'll use the Stable Baseline 3 library to train this humanoid to walk. For this tutorial, we need two libraries. If you haven't installed the Gymnasium library, you can go to the Gymnasium website and copy this install command. The other library that we need is Stable Baseline 3. What you'll need is the pip install Stable Baseline 3, but make sure you add the extra here. The extra here will install TensorBoard and we'll take a look at what that is in a bit. Let's take a look at our code. In the first line, I'm importing the Gymnasium library. Then I'm importing three reinforcement learning algorithms from the Stable Baseline 3 library. That includes the soft actor critic. Okay, the second one is going to be a long one. It's called Twin Delayed Deep Deterministic Policy Gradient. Wow. Then we have the Advantage Actor Critic algorithm. I'm also importing some out of the box Python libraries here. We need a models directory and a log directory to hold our training models and training logs. If those two directories do not exist, then we'll create it. I have two functions, one for training the model and one for testing the model. In the training function, I'm passing in the gym environment as well as the algorithm that I want to run. Depending on the algorithm that I pass in, I'm creating my stable baseline model using the selected algorithm. Now there are more than three to choose from. If we go to the stable baseline documentation on the left side, click on RL algorithms. We can see a list of all the implemented ones here. For the tutorial, I just selected three to train with. There's a better way to create the model in a more dynamic way rather than just using this match case statement. But I think listing them all out is a little bit easier to read for the tutorial. When we declare the model, the first parameter is the type of neural network that we're going to use. The default one, MLP, multilayer perceptron, is the one that we're going to use. The other one, CNN, Convolutional Neural Network, is more for image recognition type of stuff. So we'll stick with MLP. For the second parameter, we're passing in the gym environment. We're turning on verbose so that we can see some printouts once in a while. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can pass in CUDA to do the training on your GPU. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, just pass in CPU. Finally, we're passing in the log directory and we'll see what TensorBoard is in a moment. Now that we have our model, we can start training. We can start training by calling model.learn. We're basically going to train indefinitely until we're happy with the results. The first parameter of the learn function is the number of steps to train. One step is one action performed by the AI. We're basically telling the model to train 25,000 steps and then save a version of the model. That way we can actually test the model while training is still going on. The reset number of steps parameter has to do with the way the training information is graphed. By turning it off, we want to graph a continuous line. If we turn it on, it's going to repeat from 0 to 25,000 over and over again when we try to graph it. Now, why did I choose 25,000? This is more of a trial and error number. You can choose 10,000, 50,000, whatever you want. In this tutorial, we're not gonna talk about how these algorithms work, but if you are interested in digging in, if I point to the model, it's gonna bring up the help. And by scrolling down, you'll find that there's a paper talking about what soft actor critic is and also an introduction if you're interested. You might also be wondering what happened to the learning rate or discount factors that we have to set in the Q-learning algorithm. It is possible to set those parameters when declaring the model, but the model came with defaults and those usually work. So you don't necessarily need to change them. Okay, let's start the training. Let me scroll down to the main function. 
and then bring up a new command prompt. I created a argument posture here so that I can start the training from command line. So the way it works is I'm going to do Python, the name of my file. My first parameter is the gym environment. I want to do the humanoid version 4. My second parameter is the algorithm. I'm going to start with SAC. And then I have a choice between training or testing. I'm going to do dash T for training. So when I select training, I come down to here, declare the gym environment, and then call my train function. Let's kick it off. Okay, training should be going on. Now I want to copy the same command. Go to the plus sign here to create another command prompt. Paste in my command. This time I'm changing from SAC to TD3. Start training this one. I'm going to create another command prompt. And I'm going to start training AC2. So now I have all three models training at the same time. Let's check the logs. We can see logs being created. Take a look at the models. No models has been created yet. We can see some information being printed in the command prompts. I'm going to create another command prompt. This time, I'm going to bring up TensorBoard. TensorBoard requires us to pass in the log directory. We'll give it our logs directory. Enter. That command just started a local web server. I'm going to control click this link. And here's our tensor board. Let me change this color. Okay. Tensor board finds the logs for the three models that are training at the moment. Let's go over to the gears here at the top right. Make sure reload data is checked. So every 30 seconds, our graph will get updated. As you can see, it just happened in the background. TensorBoard offers a lot of insights into what's happening during the training. For us, we can just look at the top two here. The one on the left is the episode length. The x-axis is the number of time steps. The y-axis is the episode length. Over time, we expect the episode length to be longer and longer because the AI should be able to walk for a longer period of time. On the right side, we have the rewards. Similarly, we expect that over time, the AI gets more and more rewards. Here we can see that the TD3, the light blue algorithm, is not really improving at all. So after a little while, I think we can terminate this one. It might not be the right algorithm for this environment. If we look at the pink one for AC2, this is the fastest one. It's already done 100,000 time steps. However, it's not really improving. It's going back and forth down here. So the one that's most promising is the blue one, SAC, which is consistently improving over time. I think at this point, it's safe to assume that the light blue and the pink one is not going to get any better. So we can go back to Visual Studio Code. I think the third one is the AC2. Control C to stop the uh, training. And then we'll also stop the second one, TD3. Okay, let's let the soft actor critic algorithm run for a while while we take a look at what the test function look like. So in the test function, similarly, we're passing in the gym environment, the algorithm, and also the path to the model. 
As you can see on the left, AC2 has already created a bunch of models, but we know those are pretty much useless because the training wasn't really getting anywhere with this algorithm. Depending on which algorithm we chose, we are loading the respective models. Here we're resetting the instance of the environment. The first element we turned is actually our observation or state. We pass the state into the model's predict function. The predict function selects the best action to take. And then we take that action. When we take that action, we receive a new state and also a done flag if the AI has already fallen. Now in the animation, the AI falls about halfway and then the scenario ends. So what I did was I added another 500 steps so that we can see the AI falling all the way to the ground. So that's the test function. We still don't have the soft actor critic model yet, but let's just try the AC2 one. My parameter, let's go down to the parameters, Python, name of my script, environment name, AC2 algorithm. This time it's dash S for tests, and then the path to the model, AC2, 125,000, that's zip. This command is gonna trigger this path, which declares the environment and calls the test function. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is what we expected. The AC2 training didn't get very far, so the AI dropped to the ground almost immediately. Okay, it's been two hours of training. Our soft actor critic algorithm has gained about 4,000 rewards, which is looking pretty good after 400,000 time steps. I've already stopped the training. Let's try to run the model. Okay, change this to dash S, path to the model. Let's see it walk. Okay, cool, he's walking. It might not look pretty, but he's, he's walking. Okay guys, thanks for following along in this tutorial. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.